The Commission on uh, Sustainable Development was created as a result of the Rio meeting back in 92. And in that uh, respect, uh, it filled an important role uh, the first years to making sure that the precautionary principle, the new principles related to climate change, but also to biodiversity, uh, was followed up. But then we have seen that we needed even world leaders uh, to be even more engaged in following up um, on uh, the principles agreed. We have seen with the Millennium Development Goals where we in 2000 agreed that we should uh, half an amount of people living in extreme poverty, that we had these measurable goals that uh, were followed up politically, had a great impact. And uh, we saw that the UN Commission could not totally fulfill that role and they needed to lift this at world leaders level. And that's where I like uh, the new um, forum of political leaders, really making sure uh, that we will uh, change the course and make sure that uh, decisions uh, that are taken also uh, bring in uh, the environment, uh, inclusive growth and put climate change and securing biodiversity uh, at the top of the political agenda. Species are disappearing every day and becomes distinct. Uh, we also know that um, uh, this certification uh, is uh, happening, deforestation uh, is taking place. Uh, the policies that we have agreed in these areas um, are very progressive, but we need a forum that every year look at how are we doing? Um, have we met the targets that we have uh, set? Have we followed up with the political initiatives uh, that are uh, needed? I think this can be a very candid, very impactful and consequential uh, forum if world leaders really use it as a true watchdog on what we have agreed in Rio, what we will agree on sustainable development goals uh, that can uh, make an impact. And it should be the forum where we really make sure that uh, we reach uh, the overarching target uh, towards 2030. Um, eradicating all extreme poverty.